Recently, the management of Boas met after a meeting with the president to a journalist in an interview that the company will be crashing smelt price to 3,500 naira per bag from about 8,500 per bag. However, a few weeks later, the company issued a press statement that they will be selling smelt to distributors at 3,500 naira ex factory price, with effect from 2nd of October 2023, thereby generating another form of controversy on the real amount consumers are to buy the product. A distributor in Benin, Elochuku Eze, said, though Boa smelt crashed the price, but realistically, it is going to be difficult to implement as it is not easily available at their doorsteps. He said the bad state of roads across Nigeria will play a larger factor in determining the actualization of the new price regime of SMET and fulfill the good intentions of the company to lessen the burden of Nigerians. Another distributor, John Osage Ezomo, said it's only unfortunate that the management of Boa industries did not enlighten the public about the full implementation process as the 3,500 price ends with the major marketers who will now sell to their customers at about 4,800 naira per bag because of additional cost of logistics. Before in Ubila, Boa cement was 4,000 naira, but now they are selling 3,500. Uh, there is no road there. None of our trailers they agree to go that area to go carry the cement come. But the convey it here in Benin here is too difficult. That is why we can't meet up that the price. This theory five is talking about it is the price from the plan per a bag. I want you want to buy a bag, there is a transport factors. There's what we call logistic, which is the the offloading, loading and then offloading. And also the what they call repair for the drivers, dispatch for the, the drivers. Putting all these things together, it can only come to amount to 4,000 something. Because what we are hearing from the end user now that to them is terrified. And that is the claim we are disbonding that that is not the truth. Efosa Uangwe, ITV News.